Ciao amici, io sono Elisabetta e io sono Daniel. E oggi faremo un tiramisu. Today we have a kid-friendly recipe of tiramisu from our school principal, Viviana, who is from Italy. Tiramisu is a no-bake dessert that is typically reserved for adults because it has alcohol in it. And because it's no-bake, the alcohol doesn't cook out. Typically, Italians will add rum or marsala wine. The other thing that makes it typically not kid-friendly is that the lady fingers are soaked in very strong espresso coffee. So, Kids typically don't get to enjoy this dessert, but Viviana has adapted it so that even her children are allowed to enjoy, and it is kid-friendly. So we're gonna tell you how to make this kid-friendly version of tiramisu, and if you wanna make the adult-friendly version, how you would do that as well. I am so excited to make tiramisu. So today, Daniel and I are going to make tiramisu, and in order to make tiramisu, you will need the following ingredients. Um, a package of biscotti savoyardi, which are um, lady fingers, um, mascarpone, which is um, an Italian type of cream, um, two eggs separated, egg whites, and two egg yolks, rum extract instead of rum, You'll need this square baking dish. Even though we're not gonna bake it, it's gonna go in the refrigerator for several hours. And sugar. You'll need two cups of brewed decaffeinated coffee. So we're gonna start by putting the egg yolks into our electric mixer here, and we're gonna whip the egg, sorry, the egg whites. <laughs> we're gonna whip the egg whites until they create soft, Peaks. Stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. It's time to. Okay, so you want to whip these egg whites until they are in stiff. So until they are stiff. Okay, so these are stiff, and I'm going to remove them and put them into another. And then you're going to add the egg yolks to the bowl. We've removed the egg whites and put them in a separate bowl. And now we're going to put the egg yolks into this bowl. I should also mention that um, the bowl of our mixer, we also rinsed it out really well so it doesn't mix. So Daniel, put those egg yolks in there, okay? And then um, go ahead and get two tablespoons of sugar and put them in with the... So Daniel's gonna put two tablespoons of sugar in here. We used the tablespoon to make pancakes this morning. We did, yep. And I'm good at measuring. Good. And I'm gonna pull the levers. Okay. One eat. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip this until it becomes light yellow in color and very thick. Okay, so that's gonna become light yellow and very thick. A teaspoon of rum. Okay, so this is now thick and yellow, so we're gonna add a teaspoon of rum extract to this. And if you're making the adult version, you'd wanna put a teaspoon of like Marsala wine or, um, or rum, actual rum into it. Um, I like to add a little espresso flavored Baileys into mine. It's not super authentic, but it's delicious. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of rum extract in here. So to this um, egg yolk mixture, we are going to put the mascarpone, which is gonna go right in here, and we're gonna blend that together with the egg, with the egg yolk. So 
so now we have the mascarpone mixed in with the egg yolks. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the egg whites and we're gonna put them in here. The key here is to fold very gently so that you do not deflate the egg yolks. How are you, you going to deflate the egg? You're not going to deflate them. You're going to fold extremely but gently. How do they deflate? So, well, they, they would deflate because they would become liquidy again. Oh. So, yeah. So, the, the, the key here is to do a scoop from the bottom and fold. Scoop from the bottom and fold. Okay. Scoop from the bottom and fold. We're going to dip the lady fingers now. Okay. So, in order to dip the lady fingers, this is really key. He's going to dip the, a lady finger into the coffee, and you want to make sure that you don't do too much because the lady fingers will really soak up. So just a quick dip, and I've got the coffee in kind of a container here. So just a quick dip, and then you're going to put it over here into your um, into your square baking dish. Okay. So Daniel, just a quick dip. Just you can just yep, quick dip like that, and put it in. I want to do it. Yep. So quick dip all the way down. Just like this. Down, dip, there. See? Okay? It's like this. It's like that, and then put it down. Yep, well you wanna make sure you get it all the way covered. So quick dip all the way down. Okay, that is like way too long, see? Cause it's gonna get mushy that way. So you wanna just do like a quick, a quick, like that. The thing's too hot. <laughs> it is a little hot, isn't it? Okay, so we're just gonna layer them in our dish. Okay, good job. Yep, just like that. Okay, so that's our first layer. So I did this alone. <laughs> good job. Okay, so, so Daniel's got a first layer on there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this cream and I am going to put the cream on I top do it. and we're gonna carefully gonna spread. Go ahead, carefully spread it out. So Daniel's carefully spreading it out so it covers all, and we've got our dog involved, all of, what does it smell like? It right? smell good? Yes, because okay. it's got this. Uh, it's got rum, rum extract in it. Yep, okay, so keep spreading, Daniel. Good like, job. Hey. So now Daniel's gonna do another layer of lady fingers on top of the cream layer. So you just keep repeating lady fingers and cream until you get, you run out of ingredients or you run out of, out of room. We're not gonna put the cocoa powder down. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, uh, sprinkle cocoa powder over it. So I'm gonna get my sifter and we're gonna sift the cocoa powder over the top. Okay, I have my sifter here and I'm just gonna put a little cocoa powder in here. And this kind of makes a mess, you have to be careful. <gasps> I got a lot on it actually. <laughs> we're just gonna sift it over the tiramisu. So just like that. And now comes the hard part where we have to wait to eat this. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so delicious. We will uh, show you the finished product after we're done. We have to wait six to eight hours for this to meld together. Can you tell us about the tiramisu? How long has it been in the fridge? Six hours. It's been in the fridge six hours. Are you excited to eat it? Yep. Yep, okay, so, so we're gonna cut into it, okay? Yeah. 